Hi everyone, this is Mr. Ho. In today's video, we are going to study some hard questions about distance formula. Let's have a look on question number 1. In the figure, A, B and C are the vertices of a triangle. The meaning of vertices is the points of a triangle. A. Find A, B, A, B, C and A, C. So, first of all, we have to find the length of AB. Since AB is just a vertical line, so we don't have to use distance formula, but simply 4 minus negative 2 equals to 6. And don't forget units. For the length BC, we have to use distance formula. So BC, let's say the point here, B is x1, y1, and C is x2 and y2. So by using the distance formula, it is equal to negative 1 minus 3 all square plus y1 minus y2, negative 2 minus 1, all square, and then square root is equal to So this is how we can find BC. So by using the same skills, we can also find AC. So AC here will be, let's say, point A is x1, y1, and point C is still x2, y2. So by using the distance formula again, negative 1 minus 3, all square plus 4 minus 1 all square square root is equals to so by using the distance formula we can easily find the length of AB BC and also AC so let's go to part B. Find the perimeter of triangle ABC. So the perimeter is just simply the length of AB plus BC plus AC. So it is equal to 6 plus 5 plus 5. And then it is equal to 16. And of course, don't forget units. Question number 2. In the figure, C, D, and E are the vertices of triangle CDE with CE equals to 10 and D equals to 5. A. Is triangle CDE a right-angled triangle? Explain your answer. First of all, since we don't know the length of CD, so we can find the length of CD first. So CD equals to, by using the distance formula, square root of 6 minus negative 5 all square plus 1 minus negative 1 all square equals to so this is how we can find the length cd in form 2 we have learned about pythagoras theorem if we want to prove cde triangle cd is a right angle triangle then ce squared should equals uh, ce squared plus cd squared should equals to de squared so first of all we can calculate cd squared plus E D square. According to the questions, it is equals to ten square 
plus 5 square and it is equal to 125 and for CD square it is equal to square root of 125 square so it is equal to 125 since we find that C square plus E D square is equal to C D square. So triangle C D E is a right angled triangle. And the reason is converse of Pythagoras theorem. This is actually learned in form two. Part B find the area of triangle C D E. Since we have already proved that triangle C E D is a right angle triangle, which means Angle E is 90 degree. So the area is just simply base time height divided by 2. Part B. The area is equal to base 10 times height 5 divided by 2. And it is equal to 25. Don't forget the unit. Since this time the unit is talking about the area. So the unit will be 25 square unit or in short we can write it this way sq dot unit so this is how we can do these questions and this is the end of today's video thank you for watching